Hi everyone, welcome to Two Twins in Eve, your weekly update for EVE Online stuff. I am your host, The Lone Wolf, and last week saw the announcement of EVE Online Crucible, uh, the winter expansion, that's already coming out on November 29th, and that's earlier than I had expected, I didn't think it would come before December, but we'll have it in less than two weeks, so that's very good news to start with. But before I get started on some of the changes that I noticed uh, that were announced this week uh, concerning the new winter expansion maybe I should start with a, a change that has been implemented very recently which is a new change to the aggression mechanics namely that when you remote rep someone that uh, has been flagged as a criminal in HiSec you will get the same message that you will also be flagged for criminal activity and thus be, um, be either a target for Concord or a target for whoever was the, the victim in, uh, in the other person's crime that you are repping. So I think this is another one of those small changes that uh, have been asked for for a very, very long time. Uh, personally, I'm wondering if uh, or how much the CSM has to do with uh, some of these recent changes that the community has been asking for for a very long time. But if it turns out that they're actively uh, helping make those changes come by. I'd say the CSM is doing some pretty good work. Uh, I'll have to read up on the forums to, to find out more about that. Um, uh, maybe as a small update first as well on something I, I read in the Eric Chalan uh, mail, mailing list. Yep, um, a, a new sleeper message was found or I, I mean uh, I think it's, it's a new one. That's what it uh, said in the mail. And it read, um, for those of you who can hear this, this is the end. May we be granted mercy. So this coming from a, a sleeper or a sleeper drone or whatever it is that sent that message in, in wormhole space, it uh, led to quite some speculation on, on the nature of, um, of the sleepers, uh, on their aggressivity and uh, on this message, what it meant either for them or for, for us or for the entire uh, the entirety of, of all life maybe even in new eden uh, it was it was an interesting tidbit and it led to some interesting discussions within arik jalan in my opinion so how about some of these other changes that i found out about uh, for the coming winter expansion that i'm pretty pretty excited about um, most of these i actually found on eve news 24 um, whenever i checked the the front page for the eve online website itself there weren't many new announcements, but when I went to Eve News 24, I saw like three or four dev blogs uh, about coming changes. So that was uh, my go-to uh, source for uh, for this last week. Uh, first of all, the ses session timer will be reduced by 10 seconds. So that's going to have uh, some impact in, in hectic battles for reshipping and uh, resupplying um, the, the front lines and, and also uh, for the mechanics around the gates and all that stuff. So 10 seconds less on the session timer. Um, there will be a lot of exploration improvements. I really liked uh, this part. Uh, new loot, uh, some Tech 2 rig BPCs, um, and especially there will be a much faster despawn whenever uh, a site was completed. So I think for, for explorers this is a very positive. Uh, there will, will also be some, some new sites with, with uh, difficulties that, uh, that aren't in the game right now with, with special loot. So I think uh, this is also going to add a lot to exploration and, and make it maybe a bit more viable um, or at least reduce the, the dry spells you sometimes have when you explore. Um, I, then there is the uh, video by Xidanis which showed some stuff uh, like the new warp tunnels. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Xidanis video but maybe another one that showed the new warp effect whenever you go through a planet. Uh, really cool, a completely black warp tunnel and then when you come to the end it, it opens up like really like you're flying through a massive object. I thought that was that looked very cool. Um, 
I also saw something about a time ticker on prerequisite skills. So if you went to the info page on a ship you couldn't fly yet, and you went to the prerequisite skills, it actually gave you uh, how much time you would need to train all the necessary skills for it. Uh, very cool addition, something very small but really uh, useful in my opinion. And from Xidenis, definitely the jump on contact button. So instead of having to jump, then wait till you get within 2500 meters, you, you could just uh, press that button and on contact you would jump through to, uh, to the next system. A really cool change there as well. So there's a lot more actually uh, coming in, in this uh, winter expansion. You know, just check out the forums, check out the dev blogs, all of that. Uh, it's it's quite a lot to read up about. It's it, it's looking like a very good uh, update and improvement expansion to me. So I'm pretty excited about it, and uh, I'm I'm definitely going to try and cover it as much as possible. So that's going to be it for this week, and I'll see you guys next time.